The voices began two years ago. It gradually came on and I ignored it for a while. Then one day I was getting high and smoking pee and the voices just came full on and I freaked out. I was asking people if they could hear them but they couldn't. The voices were telling me to keep smoking pee and different things I can't really remember. At the time it didn't really bug me because I was high but once I came down they were still there. That's when I took notice. I kept it to myself for a little while but then they started driving me nuts. They were saying lots of bad things. I couldn't sleep and I was hurting myself because that's what they were telling me to do. I was punching myself and banging my head against the walls. My behaviour scared a lot of people and my parents and partner at the time made an appointment for me to see a doctor. And the doctor put me under the Mental Health Act and then they put me into hospital. I was diagnosed with depression, anxiety disorder and schizophrenia. I didn't like it because it felt like I was being labelled. It was hard at the hospital. The voices were telling me to get out, leave. I kept leaving the psychiatrist's room. I was never in there for more than five minutes because the doctors pissed me off and I was still not well. They were always repeating their questions and started to get really boring. They'd also bring in students to the meetings and they hadn't asked my permission for them to be there so I told them to leave. I was put on medication and the voices went away. After I left hospital I took the medication for about three or four months but I didn't like the side effects so I talked to my doctors and got taken off it. The voices came back and I've been living with them every day. I want to learn how to cope with them without medication. I've been involved in hearing voices groups and I'm getting better at dealing with the voices. Some days I can't cope but most days I'm okay. I tend to just block them out and ignore them. I listen to music, I listen to my art, I draw and paint, and I go for a run. My voices chatter between themselves. They ask, how far can we push them? They want me to smoke drugs. One day they wanted me to drive off a cliff. They're quite curious and want to know where we are going and who we're going to see. Why do I hear voices? I think it was the drug use, because I never experienced voices before that. Also, growing up, I never talked about anything, so it could be a bit of that. I was never good at sharing my feelings and moods, so maybe everything just built up over the years and came out in a big explosion. In terms of recovery, getting a peer support worker was key for me. That's when I started to work out where I wanted to be and what I wanted to do. My peer support work helped me to make sense of hearing voices and encouraged me to do things and to get back out into the world. I told her I wanted to study psychology, but I was put off by how long it took and how much it cost. I said I wanted to help people, so she brought up peer support work. Together we went online and found a course, and that's where the process started. I learned lots of things I didn't know. I found everything about the course helpful, including being around like-minded people. I can't see myself going back to a job with people who don't understand what I've been through. I finished my practicum a few weeks ago. It was a really good experience. I learnt heaps and got to know a lot of people. They're all just very open and honest and kind and very accepting. I only spoke about myself when I thought it would help them, and when I did, they felt more comfortable to talk. I feel good about where I am in life. I like helping people. I'd like to get a paid job as a peer support worker and I have a job interview in a couple of weeks. My advice to others would be to grab recovery with two hands and don't let go. Get a peer support worker. Find your feet. Get involved with voice hearing groups and learn how to cope with your voices. Do what's right for you.